Hi, so I got a question on one of my videos, how to create a perforated curved wall. I did a video on how to create a perforated wall in ARCHICAD, but that only applied to a straight wall. So here's how you can do the same thing on a curved wall. And I am going to show you two methods to do this. First method, I'm going to show you on this wall. I just created here a 6 meter tall wall. And here we go. So I'm just going to draw out the the pattern of the perforations, if you will. I'm just going to draw them out. I'm just going to draw some random shapes. I did something similar on one of my projects, but it was maybe a little bit neater than this, but this is just to demonstrate how you can do this on a curved wall. So, let's say we want the perforation like this on the wall. This or either whatever shape you want. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna select the slab tool and I'm gonna use my magic wand to draw in these shapes, in each of these shapes a slab. So I'm holding down the spacebar and clicking. As you can see, a slab is created. I'm gonna do this with all of these. And I'm just gonna select all of them. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you them in 3D, which doesn't really matter. But this is how the perforation will, this is the shape of the perforation we're gonna have. So what we're going to do next is once again select all of the slabs and I'm going to go to their properties and under tags and categories under ID I'm going to write here wall hole and I'm going to click OK. Uh, we're going to continue, we're going to leave them selected and I'm going to go to file libraries and objects, Sele save selection as window and I'm gonna leave it to new window 1, the name of the new window save, here th these in this case don't really matter, I'm just gonna click OK and a new window is created, I'm gonna go to my window tool and as you can see the window that we just created is selected and I'm just gonna click on my wall and uh, perforations should be there. As you can see, here it is. If you would like, you can select it and also multiply it. Let's say, drag a copy over here. maybe you get the idea with this you can just do whatever whatever shapes whatever perforations you would like on your wall so this is method number one and in my opinion this lets you make the most accurate shapes and the most accurate perforation than you can that you can in ARCHICAD. By that I mean you can control it the best. So now I'm gonna show you the other method of doing this. Which is uh, we're gonna work on this other wall and I'm gonna draw a section. We're gonna work in the section view. I drew it out, I'm opening it and as you can see we have the wall in sight. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just draw out some shapes again, but you know what, I'm not going to redo them all again, I'm just going to copy the ones I have over here. So I'm going to click the marquees, select all the lines, copy them, and I'm going to go to my sections and paste them here. Once I have them here, I'm going to select my morph tool 
and then I'm gonna just space space click so magic wand so that I'm just creating a bunch of morphs here so these are the morphs that we just created we're working here as you can see this is where they appear in the floor plan so in the uh, in line with the section I'm gonna draw out my marquee press F5 so I go to 3D view and this is what we have so far the morphs as I said before are created on the line of the section so that's where they are positioned and then I'm gonna just create the wall the, uh, select one of my morphs with the morph tool selected and I'm gonna push use this tool push pull and I'm just gonna pull it through the wall and I'm going to just do the same thing with all of these select them and just pull them through the wall as you can see if I had them all selected they all just went with me so once we have this we're gonna go to our layer control and L layers I'm sorry we're gonna create a new one openings and I hit OK and I'm gonna choose this wireframe option for them OK and then I'm gonna select all of them and I'm gonna place them on that layer openings now as you can see there they only appear as wireframe once we did that I'm gonna go to design solid element operations I'm gonna click get operator elements this the morphs I want them to be operator elements and then the wall I'm gonna click get target elements this is the one we want to do the operation on and we're just gonna leave this to subtraction and we're gonna click on execute and as you can see now the openings are created for in the future if you don't want to see these at all you can just go to your layers and you can just put this on uh, close the layer so it's not visible so okay this is what we have the two methods depending on what you need to do one of these can work better for you in my opinion the best one to use, easiest one to use is this one once you created the opening you can just multiply it and use it as you will with this in order to multiply it you would have to open the layer up again and move everything, drag a copy of everything so that you can multiply it with this it's way easier okay so I hope this helps and thank you for the question if anyone has any other questions please leave them in the comments below bye